Saturday's workout is Ladybug. It is a it is a mashup of the uh, girl workouts, Kelly and Helen. You're going to perform three rounds, one round of Kelly, followed by one round of Helen. Kelly is run a 400. If you're going to be subbing another movement, pick something that's going to take about two minutes. Then you're going to come and you're going to do 30 wall balls. Hold the ball right around chin level. Perform a full squat as you open the hips throw and make contact 10 feet for guys, nine feet for ladies. After your 30 wall balls, you're gonna perform 30 box jumps. These are box jumps where we stand tall and open the hip at the top of every rep. Stepping down will be less impact, which is a great idea when pairing it with running and wall balls, or for a little bit faster tempo, you can hop down off the top of the box. After you complete a round of Kelly, you'll perform a round of Helen, which is a 400 meter run, followed by 21 American kettlebell swings. You'll stand the kettlebell up, swing back through the legs, pop the hips forward, and then swing the kettlebell until it's straight up, upside down. After your 21 kettlebell swings, you'll perform 12 pull-ups. This is relatively low volume for a CrossFit workout, so you have the option of performing these kipping or performing them strict. For the home gym variation, we're gonna replace the wall balls with single dumbbell thrusters. You're gonna pick up the dumbbell, you're gonna hold both sides of the dumbbell, one in each hand, then you'll perform a thruster. So full squat, followed by lockout and press overhead. We will replace the box jumps with lateral hops over the dumbbell. Left plus right is gonna count as one rep. And then finally, we'll replace the kettlebell swings with single dumbbell Russian swings. You're gonna hold on to the handle with both hands. You're gonna to swing to eye level. Have fun guys, let us know how your workout goes. Please like and subscribe, leave us a comment. Have a great Saturday. Saturday's capacity builder accessory work is designed to help us practice performing handstand walking under fatigue. It is five rounds. Every round is 90 seconds, as many reps as possible. You're gonna start with a 15 or 12 calorie row buy-in. This should be a near sprint. We wanna get the heart rate up so we can practice training the handstand walk under fatigue. After your 15 calories, you're gonna perform max distance handstand walk in the remaining time. You can break up the walk into multiple sets our goal is to get as much distance as possible in 90 seconds. Scaling options for the handstand walk will be max time handstand hold after you finish your row. Focus on keeping the body in that straight plank position, only the heels touching the wall. Or you can start bringing your hands up one at a time practicing lifting them off the ground while maintaining the handstand.